Did Leonardo da Vinci, the creator of the world-renowned Mona Lisa, also design the first robot? This question sets the stage for the exploration of the enigma that is Leonardo da Vinci, a man whose genius transcended the boundaries of art to encompass science, engineering, and invention. Born in the small town of Vinci, Italy in the 15th century, da Vinci's intellectual curiosity was insatiable. His diverse interests led him to explore a wide array of fields constantly pushing the boundaries of knowledge. His journey began as an apprentice to Andrea del Verrocchio, a leading artist and intellectual of Florence. Under Verrocchio's guidance the young da Vinci was exposed to a range of disciplines, from painting and sculpture to the technicalities of mechanical arts. This period of learning and exploration set the foundation for da Vinci's later works. The young da Vinci, nurtured under Verrocchio's wing, was soon to astound the world. From the corridors of power in Milan to the grandeur of the Vatican, da Vinci's genius was in high demand. His middle years saw a flurry of activity. From the canvas to the drafting table he was a man consumed by his need to create and understand the world around him. Perhaps his most iconic masterpiece, The Last Supper, was a testament to his innovative techniques. Da Vinci's use of perspective and depth breathed life into the biblical scene, creating an emotional resonance that transcended the boundaries of the canvas. He employed this fumato technique, a subtle gradation of tone, to imbue his subjects with a sense of realism and dimensionality. It was this same technique that would later give the Mona Lisa her enigmatic smile. Then there was the chiaroscuro, a method of using light and shadow to give his subjects a three-dimensionality that was unprecedented in the art world. This technique added a depth and richness to his works that were previously unseen, transforming the flat canvas into a window to another world. But da Vinci's genius was not confined to the canvas. He was a polymath, a man of science as much as he was an artist. He designed machines that were centuries ahead of their time. The robot, an automated knight, was capable of simple movements, a marvel of engineering in the 15th century. His sketches of a helicopter hinted at the possibilities of human flight, while his design for a tank showed his understanding of the mechanics of warfare. Yet, for all his accomplishments, da Vinci was a man driven by an insatiable curiosity. He sought to understand the world in its entirety, from the smallest flower to the largest mountain. His notebooks were filled with sketches and observations, each page a testament to his relentless pursuit of knowledge. Yet da Vinci's thirst for knowledge was insatiable. He sought to unravel the secrets of the universe. His genius was a beacon that illuminated the Renaissance, a testament to the limitless potential of the human mind when fueled by curiosity and imagination. As da Vinci's life drew to a close in France, his legacy was only beginning to take shape. In the twilight of his years, Leonardo da Vinci, the maestro of the Italian Renaissance, moved to France, invited by Francis I. He spent his final years in the manner of Cloulouse, continuing to sketch, write, and dream until his death in 1519. His death marked an end of an era, but the beginning of a legacy that would endure through the centuries. His body was laid to rest at Saint Florentin, but the church was destroyed in the French Revolution, and the whereabouts of his remains became shrouded in mystery. Yet, the enigma of his final resting place belies the reach and influence of his genius, which remains far from buried. Leonardo's influence on the world of art is immeasurable. His techniques, his perspective, his understanding of light and shadow, and his pursuit of realism have shaped generations of artists. He gave birth to a new form of art, where science and creativity intertwined, and every stroke of the brush was a testament to the beauty of the world. But Leonardo was not just an artist, he was a polymath, his mind a crucible of ideas that spanned the breadth of human knowledge. From the intricacies of human anatomy to the dream of human flight, Leonardo's sketches and notes reveal a mind that was always questioning, always learning. His ideas, his inventions, his insights have inspired countless inventors, scientists and thinkers, from Galileo to Steve Jobs. In Leonardo we see the embodiment of the Renaissance man, a man of unquenchable curiosity and feverishly inventive imagination. He stands as a symbol of the human capacity to understand and shape the world. His legacy is not confined to the walls of a museum but permeates every facet of our lives, from the technology we use to the way we perceive the world. Leonardo da Vinci, not just the painter of Mona Lisa but a universal genius whose mind transcended the boundaries of his time, 